Hey guys, this is B, and welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to talk about a Hobonichi challenge that I did back in March. It's been two months now, but let me share you what I've drawn. So this is the second cover that I used for start of spring and uh, this is the uh, Kadan Gray for A6. So the Hobonichi challenge that we have previously is about anime inspired and primarily I was able to do all of the challenges per per day for each of the characters but for some days where it does not apply to me I change it to something else so uh, I'll start first for what I have learned doing the challenge uh, my highlights I've enjoyed doing this challenge and it's hard especially to do it every day I didn't manage to do so in some days I can draw like one to two I tried three but I stopped um, halfway so there's that lessons learned uh, that's about it where it's hard to do it every day however if you manage to do so I find it therapeutic and the last one uh, how I can add joy to my routine continue with drawing to improve myself and goal for April to continue whatever Hobonichi challenge is available so uh, this one is just a calendar that you get from Stickerific if you buy something from them and I place it in here because if you follow me on Instagram you will see an unfinished photo of Sailor Saturn so she's one of my favorite characters for Sailor Moon it's just that if you actually look closely the edges are a bit different and the reason behind this is because the pencil that I was previously using was crumbling when I got that result as I was using it I ended up buying a pencil uh, this is the black wing pearl uh, I got this from Sizzipli uh, when I visited the store I actually asked them like what's applicable for the pencil to use and the recommended one that they uh, informed me was the black wing pearl and I just bought the cap so this one it sharpens easily and if I'm not using it it's just like that so that's Sailor Saturn for the first day. The second one, if anybody's familiar with Prince of Tennis, this is Echisen Ryoma. So I managed to draw the hair perfectly. It took me a while. So it's a combination of this pencil and then to make it like more sharper, uh, instead of me sharpening this one, I mean, you can. Uh, because you can get it really really sharp instead of wasting the lead I would use a mechanical uh, pencil and the ones that I typically use when drawing uh, I also have that photo in Instagram that would be this too and then I got like a eraser so looks like this so it's I mean you can skip this because you have this uh, tip but then if you wanted some sharpness to it you'll have to use a cutter to sharpen it off so that's why I bought this one right here and then if anything that's uh, big that I have to erase it's this one right here so I've got this 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 and then for the shading I just used the same 
uh, the same pencil and then to distribute the shading part uh, I use a paper stump you can get this from art supplies as well and then this is just made of block of paper and then when it becomes like this you can use a cutter to shed it off to make it sharpen again or you can cut the tip depending on how you want it but that's how I achieve the shading portion of my drawings so that's day two uh, day three we've got Kero-chan this is the character from card captor Sakura I initially wanted to draw Sakura instead but this one's much easier so because after I finished this I immediately <laughs> went ahead and uh, draw this one and then what I was actually using if you notice there's a little bit of resemble oh no not this one there's a little bit resemblance of the the drawings that I've made uh, for I think up to yeah up to the 10th because I was basing it in one size and then I do not know or I'm not fully trained in terms of like how to do proper drawing or whatever but since I saw people how to do it in the internet uh, what I usually do is I just use a coin so this is the coin that I have I would draw a circle like this and then I would just use like a ruler to have a cross so that when you draw the eyes it is in alignment to each other which would also help you draw the ears and then the alignment for the nose and as well as for the mouth usually for anime it's usually either like this or it's open or a different type of expression uh, I go back to the third one obviously it's here and then I have to just adjust some curve for Kero-chan same goes with Detective Conan so pretty much the same thing and so you've got uh, card captor Sakura this is Detective Conan this is one of the oldest anime that I have watched because they have so many episodes they also have like short movies but this one this one is like uh, the Sherlock Holmes of anime so for the fifth same thing this one right here, uh, it may look different, but it's something, I, I think some right here, because I need uh, some sort of reference for, for the hair. And one thing also to take note of, because I'm using a Hobonichi, uh, this is a grid. So if I need to align something with whichever, it's easier for me compared to drawing it on a plain paper. So that's one advantage I've got. For the 5th of March, uh, this is from Yu-Gi-Oh! One of the characters. It's actually mostly my brother who watches this anime. But I've seen a couple of episodes, but I didn't watch the whole series. Uh, they do have this weird... It's, it's easy, easily recognizable because they have the uh, hair it's mostly like this so that's that the sixth one a uh, famous one from Ghibli Studios to uh, Totoro so this is Mei uh, Kusakabe the sister of Satsuki so she's the other one that is uh, playing one of the um, characters from from the movie and this one yeah I did use this as well somewhere right here and then just make adjustments Seventh, uh, this is just testing one of the Midori stamps that I bought and when I did use this for the first time I can see some ghosting and then it fall through over here so I've got that and then just tested how it is uh, this one is Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z so the the shape of his face is a little it's a little um, weird supposed to be more elongated but because i was using this uh coin as a reference so i didn't anticipate because i used this i i put a stamp in here first and i was thinking like the character will fit in the lower portion but i have to make adjustments so that's it's like that so for the eight same goes here somewhere like there and then kind of draw it and this one, uh, this is a bit of, I think, a, a little controversy, I guess, 
way back when because this is one of the cartoons back in the 90s so if you're from the Philippines uh, it is not known as Yu Yu Hakusho I didn't know that's the official name of the anime but in the Philippines because they made this anime uh, localized meaning the translation is in Tagalog so the name that was used before was Ghost Fighter so that's something I learned when I was drawing this one and this guy's name isn't Yusuke and the localized name was Eugene so there's that so for the ninth uh, Ranma one half so uh, this is uh, Ranma Sautome so I did the same thing and if you also notice because this is Tomoe uh, River paper because it's thin it's a bit difficult to draw uh, back to back that's one of the challenges I guess that I found because if you if you look closely because I have to push or press hard in terms of putting in for the pencil it kind of reflects on the other side so what I would typically do is I would use this one or this one right here and then when I'm finished drawing one side so so the shading will not affect on the other side I would use this one right here and then start drawing so it doesn't reflect I mean I can use this but it's gonna transfer on uh, this one right here so I'd rather use like I just split it in half so I use this sweater for writing so that it doesn't um, touch the other side of the paper hence there's certain mostly the drawing is right in the middle but I try to move it around just to see if I can um, position them so so Ranma uh, Sautome this one is I've watched this anime back uh, in the Philippines uh, it was usually televised in channel 9 and then uh, this was a good one you don't have to watch all of the episodes consistently but then because the characters and the way the story flows it's a bit funny so yeah I like that one the 10th uh, of March so yeah I've shown you this one it's right here for Miyaka for Fushigi Yugi it's somewhere right here uh, this one I did this I think uh, there wasn't any lockdown yet I, I was at a coffee shop doing this one and uh, shading because both pages have like heavy shading before I move on to the next one this is really mandatory for me so there's that 11th obviously Shinchan one of the easiest ones to draw apart from the Kerochan from the card capture Sakura this was televised um, I think either channel 9 or 13 but this one's really funny this is a nice show I mean the drawing is really simple but then it's funny the 12 uh, this is princess Mononoke and I think I still did it oh this one no I didn't I think this one yes yeah I still use the the coin so this is like an old 50 cents from from Malaysia uh, I just used that and this is a movie and uh, this is already released uh, way way back part of the Ghibli St Studios same thing with the Totoro one and but I've only rewatched it again uh, recently because this was in Netflix so a lot of the Ghibli Studios are available on Netflix so you can go ahead and watch that 13 uh, this one's one of my favorites uh, I think I still use the coin <laughs> yeah I still yeah so this is Luffy from One Piece so this is one of the animes that my brother used to watch religiously and it and also because of this he learned how to uh, speak Japanese 
and uh, this is during like the child version and uh, if you also notice as you do the drawings over time it will flatten out but then on some cases like for example like this one because it's the it's almost like right next to each other you can still see that there is that indent so just take note of that if you're trying to do drawing any hobonichi uh, 14 uh, we all know this was part of uh, I think for the hobonichi weeks uh, the chibi maruko-chan so I'm not quite familiar with her but then because uh, I only started knowing this character from the hobonichi website might as well go ahead and draw uh, this one I did see a couple of episodes it's cute but you know that this was released way back when <laughs> 15th I didn't draw anything because this was when my package from rickshaw came in and I was in the mood of writing and it's this one right here one of the um, pen koozie case they call she, uh, he calls it koozie so if you've already been watching me a while or following me on instagram you know that my color combinations are gray and purple so that's my favorite color so there 16 uh i think let me see yeah i still use the coin so for the 16th uh this is yona from akatsuki no yona and this is a recommendation from my friend Nikki. A lot of the other animes that I've watched um, for the past few months, most of the recommendations came from her. So we have similar tastes in terms of what we like for animes. So this is one of the animes that I watch. And uh, watching this anime, I felt it's a bit short. Like they could, because it talks about like one of the gods that accompanies her in her journey. And the last character that was explained, you'll be able to understand it further if you read the manga. So there's that. 17, one of the famous characters. Let me see. Oh no, I didn't draw. I didn't use the coin in here anymore. So this is Doraemon which is pretty familiar for almost everyone for girl version or for female or representative you've got hello kitty for men you've got Raymond. that's how i would view it and uh, a lot of people like this character and it's also part of the hobonichi uh, they made some covers some stickers and then uh clear stamps as well uh, and uh, most of their stuffed toys really sell out. Uh, 18, so 18 uh, onwards, yeah. I didn't use this one anymore, so this is where I've got more confidence in um, enlarging the size of the drawing. But I still couldn't do like like full body, but except for this this style, I can draw. I can comfortably draw like this designs but something like sophisticated such as these i am still not comfortable making one hopefully one day because it's it's a little bit intricate to draw the hands the feet and the proportions of the body so yeah for me because i look more closely for for the face and details but going back 18 uh this is rei ayanami uh neon genesis evangelion so this is also it's a mecha mecha type of anime so it's been a while that this anime has been out and has a lot of episodes this one's nice i did enjoy it 19 uh one of my favorite characters uh from the fruits basket this is currently available on netflix They've got season one and two. Uh, there is the final season, which is season three. But I think at the moment, it's only available at Funimation or Crunchyroll. So 
I'll have to wait for Netflix to show this one. But Mumiji is one of the characters that I like from that story because a lot of people will obviously vouch for Kyo and Toro, which is, uh, I would agree. And then the next one would be Yuki and Toru, but for me, I prefer him. His story is something that I could relate to in a sense, and but he has great life lessons that this guy shares. If anybody is actually interested in watching anime, I would recommend Fruits Basket because it's a mixture of different sorts of things, mostly in terms of life lessons. So yeah. Number 20, uh, this is another recommendation from my friend Nikki. Uh, Usui Takumi, uh, this is Kaicho wa Maidsama, or in English, just Maidsama. And uh, this anime is actually the one that made me go back and read manga. I mean, you can search, I think there's like a wiki fandom or something for specific anime related stuff, which is okay to read like what happens in the ending or something like that. If, 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 if you're okay reading spoilers, but I want to see how it progressed. Hence, I am reading the, anim the manga for this one. Uh, next one uh, is, I just put a, yeah, I, just, I bought that washi tape, so just put it on here. Next one for 21st is Kilua. This is from Hunter x Hunter. Uh, I think they had season seven or six, I can't remember, but I love his character. And when you see him, it is my f the first attraction that I had for this kid is because his overall color has a hint of purple. And he has some guts to do stuff that his best friend couldn't do. So, but yeah, I love this kid. Then next, um, 22nd. Uh, this is Himura Kenshin for Rurouni uh, Kenshin. This was also localized in our country. This is more famous for Samurai X. And I tried to explore further, but I couldn't. I can't. Uh, the detail that I made here, typically I do details, like for example on this one, with I'm very particular with the eyes and as well as for for the hair because once you got those everything else is actually a bit more easier or it appears better I think but here the focus is apart from the hair like the structure of his uh, his body so there's not much attention to to the eyes next one uh, Pikachu for Pokemon people go crazy with the Pokemon Go, I think is the title. I was one of them back in the, in, I think it was like two years ago or something. That game was really famous. Some are still playing this one. I know uh, Lei Reyes, Instagram is Leipod. She's one of the few Filipino fountain pen enthusiasts who owns a lot of Nakaya. She still plays Pokemon Go because I can see it on her Instagram story. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, next one. Uh, an underrated one that actually made me enjoy or appreciate the rain. So the this is Livius and the title of the anime is Sore Demo Sekaiwa Ustokushi. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but the girl that this guy meets has the capability to call the rain. So you can relate this a little bit to like x-men something like that but not necessarily in terms of the plot but a lot of people talk about it uh, i would recommend anyone to go ahead and watch this as well uh 25th this is rin okumura from blue exorcist so this is i'm not sure if it's still available on netflix because that's where i watch it 
and if it is there's also another anime similar to this one which is called noragami they have a similar plot and story uh in 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 such a way and i did enjoy this as well next for 26th uh did i use the coin yeah this one i used the coin so for 26 uh this is sword art online uh the name of the character is yuki so if you watch it uh she has that purple outfit almost even i think yeah including the hair and her her story on the show is short-lived because she has i can't remember if what type of sickness but she's one of the great characters from this anime i think it's also available still in on netflix uh for a couple of seasons one or two seasons only i think the other ones you can find elsewhere 27 this is chika kudo from kono ototomare i watch this from netflix so if you like music uh, style of anime they use a Japanese instrument for for this one another alternative that you can use if you like music there's your lie in April and forest of piano those two are piano related but this one I forgot the name of the instrument but it's a Japanese style of instrument and it's a good one Two, I think they have yeah two seasons for uh, 28, uh, this is Tomoe from Kamisama Hajime Mashita. Tomoe, uh, like same spelling of the paper. And this is a fox, I think fox god or something. But this is, so this, and where's that? This one. They have a little bit similarity, but this is fantasy. Well, this one is like high school time. So, but both are great to to watch. They have two seasons and I think an over, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, next twenty nine, another Ghibli movie. How this is Hal? So Hal's Moving Castle and this anime actually took me off by surprise and after watching it the first time i think i watched it two to three times more it's a similar reaction i got when i watched totoro and i think the other one was whisker away something like that but yeah 30 this is again sailor saturn i did a huge growing of it occupying the whole page and this is her non-transformed one to give justice to the first one right here where she is already transformed so that's why i uh, drew her and i no longer i used to have like a notebook where i did all sailor moon like when they look like students and when they look as transform that's where the drawing thing actually started so and last but not the least this is seshomaru from uh, inuyasha and i think it is still available on netflix for inuyasha but not all of the seasons because i watch all of them and uh there is another i don't know if you call it a spin-off or the following of inuyasha it's called Yashashime and that one talks about his twin daughters and then the daughter of Inuyasha. Seshomaru is one of the characters that he's not really a protagonist per se but I like his character or the way he does things or something. So I always like this one and i don't know i just like it so hence i draw him for the last day so that's pretty much it i don't know how long i took to explain everything for for the for the days but that's all of the drawings that i have 
starting from the 1st until the end of March. If you have any questions or what anime recommendations that you can give me to watch, just go ahead and comment that one below. And I'll go ahead and take a look. And if there's anything that you saw or one of your um, favorites, uh, do share as well. Thank you so much again for watching.